I'm all ears, doctor. Well, technically, you also have an eyes, nose, mouth, Bruh. head. Being all ears would be kind of weird. They're both dead. They're both dead? We are horrible doctors. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Sun and Moon Show. Hello! Today, we're playing a game called the Vermander Curse. Ooh, the Vermander Curse. It is made now, by the same like people that made the man one. in the window. It is? Well, that explains a lot. Art style looks very similar. Now, about the Vermander Curse, what do you think this might be in general, dear brother? I have absolutely no idea if this is, like, something that actually exists or if it's a made-up thing. I think it's a made-up thing, because I've never heard of the man in the window before. Well, the Vermander Curse, there's a lot of those, like, like ominous named things. Schrodinger's cat, all that. I guess. Okay, so let's see what this thing has in store for us, brother. Okay, start a new game, yes. Nurse Morton. Hello, anyone home? Uh, I hear you, I hear you, give a gal a minute. That's an anteater. Yeah? Ah, uh, hello there, Dr. Eater, I presume. That's me. Who's asking? Fantastic. I'm Morton, the nurse whose transfer request you received. Transfer request? What in the world are you talking about? Surely you read the email concerning me. We don't get no regular internet out here, sonny boy. Only thing we can get out here is that old satellite's connection. And we ain't got that either. But if you're here to help, then I ain't about to complain. You got a lot to learn, so you better pay attention, because I'm only going to say this once. I'm all ears, doctor. Well, technically, you also have an eyes, nose, mouth, Bruh. head. Being all ears would be kind of weird. When patients come in, I write their information down on this here clipboard. Wouldn't it be better to use the computer instead? No. Just, just no? Why not? The waiting room is over here. Ain't much to say about it. All the magazines are older than I am, and I ain't none, and ain't none of them worth reading no more. Oh my. We got eight rooms. Three are occupied and the rest ain't. Mr. Longboyd is in room 7-A. He had a pretty bad back injury, but we fixed him right up. And Miss Tammy Gills is in room 6A. She needed one of them teeth pulled, and we ain't got many options for it. That is anesthetic. Would you, uh, uh, did you just pull it out? I give her some of that old-fashioned medicine I keep under the sink. That's alcohol. She's, oh, she's a little dizzy. She'll be a little dizzy for a while, but everything else went smooth as silk. It's either alcohol or chloroform. Bruh. I don't know which one is worse or better. Impressive. Uh, that's not impressive, Morton. There's a woman in 3A2. Poor thing cut her hand up really bad on her job and then tried to hide it. Her boss found out and then sent her here. I ain't managed to figure out her name, so I wrote her down as Jane Doe and patched her up. Did you not get her name from her boss? That, yeah, that seems like an important thing to get for medical records. Ah, a mystery. I wonder who she is. We ain't known to ask too many questions around here, Mr. Morton. We're happy to help. Understood, Doctor. We got two bathrooms, an operating room, and something like a kitchen. Oh. Excellent. The lights in here don't work half the time. We keep our medicine supply in the OR, but most of the bottles are empty because the budget ain't paying to refill them. This is a lot of information, and there ain't nothing ever in the fridge, so don't even bother checking. Is anything in this hospital function is intended? Not really. <laughs> Wow. And that's about it. This is a horrible hospital. Let's head it on the front desk so we can get you signed in and start your first shift. Unlike the man in the window, this seems like it might be a multi-episode thing for us if everyone wants to see it. Maybe. That old sign-in sheet is somewhere over there. I suggest you go ahead and start searching for it yourself, because I ain't going to come look for it. Understood, Doctor. I'll find it. In the meanwhile, I'd better go make my rounds and check up on the patients. Come and get me if you need something. Oh, I... Oh, you're her? Apparently. I thought you'd be the... I thought you'd be the... The, 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 the other guy, Morton. So three... So six A, seven A, and... Three A. Three A. Yep. Hi. I'm not used what to... What job that. are you doing that you cut your hand? How you doing, dear? Okay. Hand is... Fine, no. You ain't got nothing to worry about. It'll regrow, regrow back. What? Did she lose her hand? It's still there, so that's a very odd cast for something called a stub. Thank you. You are most welcome, dear. This is a very weird thing. Try to get some rest, and I'll check back on you later. Yes, yes. All right, I think we've read enough of the dialogue. We're gonna skip through. That's an axolotl. Axolotl? Yeah, we're just gonna skip through this. Okay, this is the one she that's a little drunk. drunk. She was drunk, and her tooth got pulled out. Uh, the question is, nothing bad's happening. Yet, but I'm wondering what this Remander curse will do. We'll turn these guys into monsters or something. Potentially. Huh. Oh, God. <laughs> what is this? This is a guy uh, that messed up his leg. Or right, back. No, messed up his, his back. back. Is this his. I don't know. I'm gonna say wife. 
Kind of check up on Hi. Him. What are you doing? Uh, caller, I wasn't going so on and on about ringing. rituals, demons, among other things like that. I don't understand. I think it's best we talk to her. Nothing's making oh. sense. You have to get out of there right now. My boss is someone to actual genuine demon, and now you're all in. What? Who do you work An for actual again? demon? I don't know the details. There's a blood pact and a demon and a curse and all kinds of other stuff. Leave now. When the clock strikes ten, you won't be able to leave. Ain't no way we're getting anyone out of here all that fast. And is there anything we can do to help our situation? Based on what I've read, you arrived to sunrise the demon will leave there's a bunch of rules you have to follow okay here's what we're used to for an example every hour until sunrise the demon will enter the place it was summoned to it will travel down the nearest hallway in search of blood specifically your blood its own rules prevent it from opening doors to search for you so keep those closed what room are you both in right now exception you need to keep that in mind, all right? When the demon arrives, make sure you're all in the same room as when the ritual started. If someone isn't, the demon will know, and once it knows where someone is, closing the doors won't stop it. I can tell you what to expect once 10 o'clock hits. This is... I, I'm surprised I don't think this is a prank call or anything. Also, so brother, happen you're first. used to demon rituals and all that. Well, here and there. There's no way that... There's one that does anything like that. No, demons do have their own rules. The demon places a lot of emphasis on windows for some reason. Yep, some do that. Try to use its powers to open up windows around itself. Uh, you're going to need, and I cannot stress this enough, you're going to need to close any and all windows before the hour is up. Leave one open, the demon gets stronger, and you don't want that, all right? If you finish with everything you need to do before the hour is up, try staring at a clock. It'll help house the extra time faster. I'll stay on the line just in case you need me to repeat something. Good luck, and please be careful. Uh, d don't, you, don't you get everyone in, in their reception area right now? No, it's everyone needs to be in the same room as when they started. I need to make sure that these other people stay in their rooms. I don't know if that'll do anything because they're going ah, to the patients, ah. won't they? Close. Yeah. Brother, I think you read that wrong. I'm not going to lie, but we'll no, see what it's, happens, it's I guess. Said that, it said the demon will go after everybody. They need to make sure they're in the same room as when they started. Windows will be opened by the demon every hour. I need to make sure I get those closed. But it also said, like, that that, uh, that the door won't stop them if the demon knows where you are. But it also said make sure the doors are closed. We'll see what happens, I guess. I probably have to check all of these rooms for... Windows? Windows. But I don't yeah. think the demon's been summoned yet. I just... Don't look at the time. I can't do anything. Faster, remember? Are you sure there's no open windows or anything like that? Your window. That. Okay, and at least windows. now I know what an open window looks like. Closed. Okay, everything's fine, I think. 8A. That's a weird room. Okay, no windows in the bathroom. Good. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see if you're if, if you're right, brother. The time was 11 p.m. 11 p.m. All the windows had been closed, closed, and then it arrived. I think it's going to you. What is it doing? It said it was going to search the closest hallways. It only searches the hallway. Okay. So if I'm in the hallway or the door is open, I'm dead. Here's what's going to happen next. Be surprised how much this demon's powers resonate with electronics. It can gain access on the phone lines and try to gain power too. You notice what? the phone continually ringing. That's exactly what it's trying to do, all right? Now, this is going to sound crazy, but you'll need to pick the phone up and listen. Pay attention because this part is important. You hear anything, and I mean anything on the other end, you gotta recite this mantra. Your presence is not welcomed here. You must depart immediately. Don't worry, you'll remember when the time comes. If there's silence on the other end of the phone, just keep quiet. Silence means it hasn't properly figured out the phone's location yet. You don't need to give it any clues, all right? Doctor, you look tired. That's because I am. Let me handle things this hour. You should rest. Is it Morton's turn now? Oh. Yep. And now I gotta listen for the phone. Okay, there's nothing there. But I need to do the same stuff I did before. You're still in your room. Good. Stay. Are you in your room? No, you're not. Why would he go? Phone. Okay, just rang once. It did. Well, hello. Go back. Thank you. Now you gotta find out where, uh, Back McHurdy is right now. I didn't check his room yet. Okay, he's still there. Okay, still there. Window, Window open. is open. How much time do we have left, brother? We should have like two minutes. Ah. D -d Say nothing. Say nothing. You have like ten minutes left, by the way. Okay, so there's phones in every room. That is confusing. Well, actually, that, that doesn't make sense. The hospital has a lot of phones in it. Make the time slowly Leave run down. Faster, somehow. Slowly Actually, going. I should double check to make sure I close all their doors. You should. 3A is closed, 6A is closed, 7A is closed. You know, double check. You didn't leave. Good. Are you still back in your room? Good. She is. And 3 Hey, the phone is ringing. Oh, I'm dead. You are dead. What? Okay. Uh. 
Because Is she dead? I guess I didn't shut her door in time either. Well, we're both yeah, they're both dead now. Hi. Oh no, it only oh, went for her. She just dead. Nice. She dead? Oh, what was that noise? Uh, do any more damage than it already has, so please let's try to focus. Listen to this. Here's what's gonna happen next. The demon will try to draw power from any lights it gained its access to. Okay. You'll know it's inside a room trying to siphon power when the lights start flickering. When it happens, all you need to do is enter the room, close the door, and shut your eyes for a few seconds. You're going to need to use the space inside your mind to focus for this to work. You'll know it worked when the lights stop flickering. Make sure you do it right, okay? If you don't, then... And then we die. So where's her body? Uh, not anywhere, apparently. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Can you keep a couple doors open, maybe? Yeah, I can keep every door, but like the big ones open. Oh yeah, as long as they're, I don't keep the ones with Bruh. you. Go Get back to your back room. Back to your thing. I can keep every door, but their door is open. Okay, so that that should be fine then. I think. Hopefully, maybe. Should. Ah. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Close okay. the door. You gotta close the door. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Ah, the door. The door's open. open. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you! You're still here. Good. Kitchen I can keep open. OR I can keep open. She's just dead. Bruh. Wherever she went. All the windows have been closed. None of the lights were left flickering. All the phones have been answered correctly. What the? What? By this point, the pain meds given to Dr. Lang early in the day had started to wear off. But despite his wife's insistence to stay put, you went to inquire about it, and then it arrived. I was, I'm supposed to be giving them medicine. Oh, you're supposed to get the medicine. They're both dead. They're both dead. Oh, he protected his wife. We are horrible doctors. What was that sound? Please don't tell me you forgot something. Can't let this happen. Do any more damage. Yeah, let's try to focus this into this. What's going to happen next? Uh, resonates with TV signals. Turn on any TV it can manage to gain access. Uh, never know anything besides static once it takes control. And if it happens, just turn the TV off, then kick it out for a while. Don't leave any TVs that it's controlling on all right it won't end well okay also one thing brother yes. i think you should drug the patient the, our last one <laughs> she remember she's drunk so te so it's stuff from your kitchen sink or all that the the right was open. the window was open by the way <laughs> i have an eye for that listening for the ringing that buck. Not don't hear anything on the other end of the phone say nothing where is, she, where is she bathroom i haven't checked it yet uh she's not in the bathroom why are you in what here? Is, what are you doing here? Go back. Scram, woman. There's no sink. Oh. So her thing what? is that she just moves. Oh. I was supposed to give the other two medicine for their pain. That's on us. And I'm going to leave these doors open to see if it actually does anything bad. At this point, we've like just kind of overall failed. Horribly failed. I didn't check TVs. Bruh. Phones answered correctly. Television was left on. Lights overhead were still flickering. It got stronger and then it arrived. How strong? Does it have to be to, like, screw with us, brother? I don't know. It just said it couldn't open doors, from what I remember. Okay, we're fine. Oh, I thought it was going to barge into that room. I thought so for a second, too. One final thing this demon is going to try. Candles has the Candles. power to manifest them inside its area of influence. It's vital, very, very important that if you see one, you extinguish it. If you let it keep burning, the demon will be able to draw power from it. You don't have to worry about any more new rules. I almost forgot something. This is important too. Whatever you do, make sure you don't. Oh. Okay, power's out. TV. TV. And window. window. TV in the back. What? What was that? Handle. How do you turn it off? How do I extinguish it? I extinguished it. There's a phone? I heard it. Every single TV. You don't hear anything. You don't hear anything. Say nothing. And remember to close the door and close your eyes. One, two. Three, four, five. Five seconds. Quick seconds. Check on the lady. Make sure she's drunk. Wait, are she okay? She seems fine. She's asleep? You're going to stay there. Nothing. Think everything's okay now. Are you sure about that? We're all good. I think I got the only candle. Door closed. Check the other room, maybe. That's a smart Just idea. Just in case there's anything in here at all. You okay. know what? Yeah, I'm going to leave that. I'm okay. going to leave this open, too. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. 3 a.m. All the windows have been closed. All the televisions have been turned off. And the lights have been left flickering. All the phones have been recovering, recovered, uh, all the candles extinguished, and then it arrived. And it arrived. Okay. Okay, we got everything, so it's not going to get any stronger, and it's not going to kill anyone. It oh, really oh. makes it look like it's about to barge down that room. It really does. How long are we supposed to stand here for? Sunrise. 
Off. Light. Door. One, two, three, four, five. That's good. I'm gonna check on her. Check on patient girl. You. Oh, we saw that. How did you not? That uh, she's something. You hear a faint whispering. Recite the mantra. This is certainly a first day for our nurse here, isn't it? 4 a.m. Doors closed. Telvin turned off. None of the lights flickering. Fine. Phones. Candles. Everything's good. Try it again, demon. I dare you. Also, is our girl just asleep right now? I don't know. Or is she like somehow dead? I really keep looking like he's about to barge into our room. I hate it. Two of our patients died. Two out of three. And... Just gonna peek my head in there. Okay, fine. He feel this girl woman feels so much slower. I think because they're closer to the ground, maybe, but I don't know. How do short people live? I believe it's only one of everything. So I think you're okay then. Next, five o'clock. Closed. Television's off. Lights off. Phone's done. Candles done. Sun began to rise. Can't demon can't stay much longer. Fulfilled the side of the pact. Survived. Was only oh, three people out of five. We're safe! Oh, three out of six people lived. Right. All investigation and the two different disappearances that happened that night was launch investigation. Compromise of Miranda's influence. Despite the innocence and lack of evidence, both Ida and Morton were charged and convicted in connection with the disappearances. Without Dr. Ida to run things, the hospital had faithfully served the community for decades, now stood abandoned. Unable to get the medical help that they needed, uh, so heavily relied on the town suffered. None had suffered as much as Morton's daughter, who suddenly had to grow up without her father. Okay. She was alone in a completely unfamiliar town, although no fault of her own. The only person who knew the truth left was Hannah. But soon she had suddenly disappeared. Upon searching her home, the only thing that th that was found was a strange lit candle. J.P. Vermander got to keep his extra 1%. And that's all that mattered. Wow. <laughs>